Okay, so I want to talk real quick about um, you know the the idea of drawing your stuff for real for your books. Um, one of the biggest obstacles that a lot of people have are, are drawing bodies and drawing poses and not having everybody just standing there with their arms at their sides. And, um, you know, there's, here's a little trick to learning how to draw. And I think it's really well demonstrated by this guy, Paulo, uh, Paulo Rivera. And he's a pretty well-known comic book artist. Uh, if you look through, I mean, it's one of his first things. He's got a picture with Stan Lee. He's legit. He's totally pro. His stuff is amazing. You know, and he's got cool tutorials and, and uh, some videos on him working on his stuff. You know, showing you how he does what he does. <clears throat> Super legit. But one of the things I like about his Instagram, and it's, it's Paulo M. Rivera, if you want to look him up, is that he occasionally will include these little um, reference photos. And this is kind of the little secret that most people don't tell you, that artists, even professional working Marvel DC artists, will use reference photos when they're trying to put together a drawing. And you can see, here he is, took a little picture of himself holding this stick, and that became this panel here. If you look at this one, it's a side view of him holding the stick as well. Okay, that became this one here. <clears throat> and if you go through his page, you'll see periodically he'll do that. You know, he's got a little picture of this toy gun, and he used that to be able to draw the gun in the in the story. He did a pose where he wanted to be holding a hand while he's chopping it off, and you're know, not going to find something like that. But if you take a picture of yourself doing the action that you want to draw, you can sort of use it as a reference. Um, even things like hands. You know, if you want a hand to look a certain way, take a picture of yourself and use that as a reference photo. Now, this one I think really demonstrates because he draws, uh, I think, a Planet of the Apes book. And if you look at what he did, he took the head from this one, dropped it on his body. Now he's holding the bottle, but, you know, in, in the thing, it's a scroll. And then he used this to be able to see what the clothes look like. And then, of course, he had some other photos that he used in the background. So it's not like you're just like drawing the same thing. You're putting multiple things together, like the head from this one, the hands from these, you know, to be able to get the pose you want. Um, OK, same thing. Here's a cool little reference photo. Here's the finished product. And look, here's the truck. So use the truck picture to get some details on how that looks. This one kind of cracked me up um, because if you look at this pose, it's actually the girl. Um, or it, it, this might be a, a guy with long hair, but I think it's supposed to be a female. Um, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter what the gender is. You can, you can, you know, human bodies are, are largely the same. Same thing here. You know, he wanted this pose and it's sort of a little throwaway picture but it adds so much life to this look, you know, without that there, it, it just doesn't seem to be quite as cool. Um, same thing here. You've got the face from this one, but you've got this background thrown in there. You've got these columns, you know, this little chopped column is kind of right there. And then you've got the body pose from this shot, you know, holding the, the reins that way. So it's like, Lots of little things put together. This one really makes me laugh because he just kind of put together some cardboard and pretended it was a gun, but it served the purpose, you know, and you've got a picture of the gun right here. Um, you just start putting things together. He dropped this thing in the background. He dropped this missile, this rocket in the background. And then, of course, he used this, this to get the clothes. So, yeah, it's and, and actually he even uses some 3D art um, rendering to be able to come up with his stuff. This one I found really cool because he took a still from the movie and used that to get the expression. Then he did the hand to try and get the pose. And he even found another shot with the shirt to be able to put that underneath and kind of worked it all together. So again, you know, here's this one's another one. 
you know, here's, it's a Planet of the Apes type uh, thing where you got the guy here and he transposed it. And I, I think he wanted to play with the eyebrows a little more, you know, the eyes to get that look. And if you look, there's this kid. There he is right there. You know, here's this dude smoking the pipe. So you're kind of putting together lots of little pieces, you know, even the backgrounds he's pulling. And I do this a lot as well. You know, here's one that I used for my comic Grace. And there's me lying on the ground because I couldn't get a pose that looked awkward like a body would have. You know, your body will will pose in in ways if you're not alive that you wouldn't live in. So I had a hard time coming up with something that looked right. And I figure I'll just lie down and, you know, set up a camera and one, two, three, boom, you know, time it. And uh, that became part of the book right there. And that's the secret to being able to pull off a lot of these poses. Now, if it's ridiculous, you know, you can't really get that stuff. Um, like Spider-Man is notoriously ridiculous in his poses where his legs are up above his head and whatnot. Um but a lot of poses you can do by using reference photos. So always keep that in mind. Um, there's, there's no shame in that. Um, it's always better to take them yourself, of yourself, or of somebody you know, than to just like steal off of Google. But if you get in a bind and you can't find something or you can't do it, Google's always an option too. Um, the, the trick is to... Go back and apply what you know of your character's face or your character's clothes to that photo. And that's it. That's that's the easy way to draw people.